Well, I was over here at the Chamber of Commerce. I went inside and there's a herbless uh, place there. And I went inside and as I was coming out, this man in the car flagged me down and asked me to call 911 for him. So I went back into herbless and called, but I backed away from the scene. So, you know, you can't see faces and things like that, you know, privacy. But um, it didn't take them, the fire truck got there first and it didn't take, I bet, five minutes for that fire truck to get there. It went, it got there really fast. But uh, he was having stroke-like symptoms or low sugar, like, you know, uh, like he had a diabetic crash. And he said that it's like, he, he knows he has high blood pressure. But yeah, that's him, he's up walking. They're going, he's gonna get himself onto the stretcher. But, um. Well, I'm glad I was in the right place to help him. And, uh, yeah. But I didn't want to be right up on the scene videotaping because I'm trying to learn this freelance style of journalism. <laughs> of journalism. And basically what it means is, is that um, you, you got to know some rules. And so I'm learning. And that's why I back way away so you can't see nobody's faces and stuff like that. But... I'm learning. I don't want to. I don't want to trespass. I don't want to, you know, videotape somebody that don't want to be videotaped. I don't want to ask questions that people don't want to answer. But it was real interesting to see how fast they got to the scene. The police car actually got there first, and it was a young guy, a young police officer. I've never met him before. I think he. To me, it seemed like all the police at Ozark are new, but he was a, a fairly new guy. So I, I flagged him down first, and then the, the, the fire truck got there, and um, I mean, really five, six minutes hadn't went by, and then the ambulance was right behind that. So that's good response time. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna get on down this road I'm going down the road that runs along the side of, that's Walgreens. And um, I'm gonna double back in, come back around. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I was filming the bricks for. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not editing. I guess y'all noticed, I'm not editing. I'm not cutting and trying to fix mistakes or nothing. I ain't. I'm not, when they demonetize me, I said, no, I'm not going to make no fancy edits and try to, you know, get the sound perfect and all that. It's, if it's got error in it, it's just got an error in it. All right. Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. And yes, I have been talking with uh, some people about this 5G situation. I talked to the, <laughs> I talked to the Chamber of Commerce and, um, she she was real nice but um yeah she asked me was i going to city meetings and things you know meeting the mayor and meeting the artiman and all that <laughs> and I, I told her no i'm not i'm just trying to educate myself and everybody else and if uh if they can't get the message like i told her i said just search on youtube 5g coming to ozark missouri and watch the videos and share the videos and and start your process of uh, looking it up. And she said, well, that was a good idea. But I didn't want to stand there and tell her that uh, I might not be welcome at the meetings like most people are. It's, I don't know. I might be welcome, but I want to I wanna just let it happen. I don't want to try to take over the understanding that I'm right and they're wrong. All right, I got to get on down this road. <laughs>